Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 3, Karma Yoga, Yoga through the Path of Action. Verse 3.1 Arjuna said, O Janardana, if you consider that intelligence related to bhakti is beyond the modes and thus superior to fruitive work, then why, O Keshava, are you engaging me in this ghastly activity of warfare? Sarardavarshini This third chapter gives a detailed explanation of work, karma, that is offered to Sri Bhagavan without the expectation of any material return. It also describes the wisdom of a person who is willing to conquer lust, anger and so forth. Arjuna has understood from these verses in the previous chapter that devotion that is free from the modes of material nature is superior to the path of spiritual advancement through transcendental knowledge, Kyan Yoga, and also to selfless action, Nishkama Karma Yoga. Now, in the mood of a friend, he reproaches Sri Bhagavan, who is eager to engage him in his prescribed duty of fighting, with the following words, If that intelligence which is resolute and free from material inappropriate is superior, then why, O Janardana, are you engaging me in this ghastly warfare? Jana means to your own people, and Ardana means giving pain. So Janardana means by your order you give pain to your own people. Arjuna also addresses Krishna as Keshava. No one can transgress your order because you are Keshava, the controller of both Brahma and Mahadeva, Shiva. Ka means Brahma, Isha means Mahadeva and Va means controller. Sarardavarshini Prakashikariti In this verse there is a mysterious secret behind Arjuna's addressing Sri Krishna by the names Keshava and Janardana. Arjuna inquired, O Janardana, first you said that resolute intelligence, Ya Vasa Yatmika Buddhi, which is beyond the modes and fixed in transcendental bhakti, is superior to prescribed duty, karma. Why then? Are you engaging me in this ghastly and violent warfare? Learned men are right in calling you Janardana, for by your order you give pain to your own people, who are dear to you and depend on you. Janardana is a very befitting name for you, because you killed the demon Jana, which is but another indication of your cruel nature. And because you killed the demon named Keshi, Keshava is another appropriate name for you. Moreover, Ka means Brahma, Isha means Mahadeva, and Va means controller. Since you control them, you are called Keshava. How then can an insignificant person like me transgress your order? O Prabhu, be merciful to me. In Sri Harivamsha, Sri Rudra says in relation to Sri Krishna and his name Keshava. Ka iti Brahmanu nama isho ham sarva dehinam avam tavanga sambutau tasmat Keshava nama bhag. Ka is Brahma. And I am Isha, Shankara, the controller of all living entities. Since both of us were born from your limbs, you are called Keshava.